Good evening, I'm Jessica Moore. New York Asian Americans took to the streets today protesting what may be the most recent anti-Asian attack here. A 61-year-old man pounded into the ground. Tonight, in an exclusive interview with CBS 2's Karen Dillon, the victim's wife gave her heartfelt plea. Bao Zhen Chen spent much of Sunday praying. The 57-year-old is experiencing deep sorrow as her husband Yao Pen Ma fights for his life in a Manhattan hospital. In an exclusive television interview with CBS2 News, Chen says she is very scared. After his brutal beating, she's now worried her husband may never return home. This 13-second surveillance video shows the attack that took place Friday night at the corner of 125th Street and 3rd Avenue. The 61-year-old was collecting cans when police say he was attacked. The suspect pushed Ma to the ground before repeatedly stomping on his head. He was taken to Harlem Hospital with significant head injuries and remains in critical but stable condition. The NYPD Hate Crime Task Force is now investigating. His wife says the attack has left her sad and panicked, adding her husband is a hard-working and nice person. She says the couple who shared two children back in China immigrated to New York in late 2018. Chen says her husband worked as a dishwasher in a restaurant until he lost his job during the pandemic. Ineligible for unemployment, he started collecting bottles and cans to pay the bills. The couple's neighbors say they're horrified to hear about the assault. Good people, I think they're good people. It's very sad. They just collect bottles and they don't even make any noise up here. I think it's horrible. Friday's attack comes amidst a spike in anti-Asian hate here in New York and across the country. As of last week, there has been a 450% increase in anti-Asian attacks here in the city compared to the same period last year. On Sunday, dozens of people marched through Manhattan, stopping at the site of Ma's attack in East Harlem to speak out against anti-Asian hate. Police have now released these images of the suspect. A GoFundMe for the family has also been started. Ma's wife is grateful for the support. Cool. Don't I look like my aunt? She says an attack like this should not have happened to her husband or anyone in America. She's praying for the criminal responsible to be put in jail. In East Harlem, Kieran Dillon, CBS 2 News. And you can get more information on the fundraising effort for Ma over on our website, cbsnewyork.com. Just click the tab for links and numbers.